as I mentioned earlier, I wanted to show you the difference between a C-channel and I-beam and a double I-beam. Now, again, this is the most commonly used cross-member in the pontoon industry. A lot of manufacturers, not all, but a lot of manufacturers use a series of quarter-inch thick, three-inch C-channels. Now, as you can see, we've got a new device down here, and one of the negative things about it is its flexibility. Notice how much that flexes. That's quite a bit. And if you're in a big pontoon with a lot of people and a high horsepower motor on a big rough lake, you're going to get some deflection in the cross member. Notice this. Notice how that twists. Look how much I can twist that cross member. That's a lot. Again, as your boat is pounding across the rough waves with heavy load and high horsepower, that's what's going to happen to some of your cross members. Now, let's take a look at Barletta's step up from the seat. Okay, um, this is a piece of the I-beam that Barletta is using. Now, my vice is a little loose back there, so I do get a little bit of wobble. But you can notice that I'm moving that bench. Look at that bench move back there. This I-beam isn't moving at all. When I latch this on and I go to twist it, like I did that C channel, I get about half the amount of movement out of this I-beam as I did that C channel. So again, the structural integrity of an I-beam is far superior to that of a C channel. Let's try the double I-beam. Okay, so now we have a piece of double I beam in here. Again, my, my vice is a little bit floppy, I got some movement in there. But as I grab onto this, that bench, that whole bench is moving on me. All right? So I take my pipe wrench on double I beam, and look at that! There's no twisting to that, baby! That is solid, man! Again, I'm taking my 400, horsepower motor on my L25UC across Green Lake wide open throttle, I don't have to worry about my deck fluxing, my cross members twisting. I'm getting that smooth, comfortable ride without any vibration through the boat, all because of the structural integrity of the chassis.